Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to calculate an enrichment p-value using the hypergeometric distribution. So I have two examples. This toy example where we have a marathon of a thousand participants. Fifty of them are from Team A, and only 200 of them actually finished the marathon, 16 of which came from Team A. Uh, later I'll give a gene-based example, but in this, did Team A get lucky, or are they actually better at running than the average people in the marathon? So we're going to use SciPy stats and I've just assigned variables corresponding to what I just said above and then we're going to use the hypergeometric function from stats but first I'm going to show you this probability mass function so what's the chance that we have 16 finished from group A exactly 16 from group A and that chance is really small, only about 1.5%. And we can graph this probability mass function, just going from 0 to 25. And here is the percent at each number. So the, the probability that 5 from group A finished by chance is around 2%, and so on for all these different numbers of finishers from group A. But we can't calculate the p-value from this, what we need is the cumulative distribution function. So the CDF um, from 0 to 25, I'm just going to graph this. So the CDF is just a summation of the total probability before a certain number. So if you were to calculate the CDF of 10, you would add up the, C, the, the PMF of 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, so, so forth, all the way to 0. So the CDF looks like this. So at 10, so what's the chance of 10 and everything less than 10? So it's around 0.5 here. And the CDF is actually what we'll use to calculate the p-value. So if we use the CDF function from the hypergeometric stats module, and since this is the probability of 16 or less happening, we need to subtract 1 from this because we want the probability of everything less than 16. And then we need to subtract this from 1 to get the actual p-value. So our p-value for this enrichment is 0 0.02. So the 16 was a significant enrichment in the marathon example. And then let's just use a similar example. But in this case, let's say we have 25,000 genes from a human and we do differential expression and we get 600 differentially expressed genes and then we want to see if senescence genes were significantly enriched in this differential expression and let's say we come up with 200 senescence genes maybe it's a go term that has 200 terms and out of our 600 DE genes we had 13 of those 200 so is senescence enriched in this differential expression and here I'm just using the same exact equation as above and we can plug in these numbers and we see that 13 genes was a significant enrichment with the p-value of 0 0.001. So this is super simple to do and it's a really useful statistical test.